Okay, so the next component we install in our valve chain is our rocker arms. We're using the PRW Performance Quotient Pro Series Aluminum Rocker Arms. Everything's going to come in here that you're going to need to install these rocker arms. You're going to want to visually check all of them, make sure that there doesn't seem to be any damage, make sure everything's rolling freely. So we're going to go through, check all these, and then we'll show you how they install in our engine. Okay, so we've got everything unpackaged. We've done a visual check on everything. Looks like we're good. We're going to go ahead and run these through our parts cleaner, make sure everything's uh, cleaned off, any of the machine oil or anything that's on them, and we'll show you how to install them. Okay, so now we've got all the rocker arms installed and all of our poly locks. Now when we put the poly locks on, we just put them on just about three or four threads in because if you tighten them all the way down, as the valve train moves up and down, you can stress and get some pops in the spring. So we just have them barely on now just to hold them in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the engine. We can see the exhaust valve going up as the intake valve goes up and then goes back down. As it stops going down, we'll, we'll know we're at top dead center, which is right there. So what we'll do at that point is we'll bring our ratchet up to 12 o'clock, and we'll go to five o'clock with it. And what that tells us is we're now on the back end of the lobe. Um, the lifter is not on the lobe anymore. So now we can take this poly lock and go down. What we're trying to do is get to zero lash. The lash is that movement that you're seeing there. Make sure everything is still centered in the rocker and the lifter. And you're going to want to get to a point where you have zero lash, but you can still spin the push rod freely. So there we go. You can see I can still spin the push rod. So now what we'll do is we'll go a half turn past that. And we'll get our Allen wrench and lock it down. Okay. We can go ahead and do the exhaust valve while we're here. <clears throat> right there and again we'll give it a half turn past that lock it in place okay so now we go through and do the rest of the cylinders and our valve chain will be properly adjusted Okay, we've got the rest of our valve train installed, adjusted, and locked into place. In our next episode, we're going to talk about the intake that we've chosen, show you how it installs. As always, go to performancecorner.com to find your local Performance Corner store that can help you with this project or whatever project you're working on. We'll see you in the next episode.